A big problem we are facing today. Carbon fluxes play an important role in climate impact research. For example, greenhouse gas emissions. Concentrations of carbon dioxide and methane CH4 in the atmosphere have increased around 1.4 and 2-fold respectively in the past 200 years. There are two main sources and sinks of carbon emissions. Anthropogenic, meaning industry, and agriculture and natural as oceans, lakes and continents. Lakes and rivers cover only 3% of the continental surface, but their carbon dioxide emissions are comparable to the entire oceanic carbon dioxide uptake from the atmosphere. To verify these assumptions, a team from Germany travelled to India to investigate the role of lakes as a source of greenhouse gases together with colleagues from India. High temperatures in the subtropical and tropical regions can increase the turnover of carbon and thereby boost carbon emissions of inland waters. Global estimates on the contribution of inland waters to carbon emissions still suffer from data limitations and bias in data distribution. So far these regions, as India, lack high resolution measurements. Our data indicate that carbon emissions from Indian inland waters can substantially affect the land greenhouse gas emission estimates. Accordingly, the global terrestrial greenhouse gas sink may be smaller than currently believed, and data on greenhouse gas release from inland waters are needed in future revision of net continental greenhouse gas fluxes. Another piece of the puzzle that contributes to the understanding of the role of lakes in the global carbon cycle is SET.